We are so going to make it about us. It's 2023. It's time for you to be dust free, free yourself. Okay. If you owe anyone, you owe yourself. So check this out. First thing that you could do for a man is give him everything on a silver platter. That is the first thing, the biggest mistake that you could ever make when it comes to a man. Although he's going to take it, he's going to resent you for it as well. That is not what you're supposed to do, ladies. What you're supposed to do, guide him, direct him, show him the way. Mm. So when he accomplishes whatever it is that he's trying to accomplish, he could pat himself on the back and feel good about it. That's when he's going to be so appreciative of you for leading him and guiding him. But remember, a man is built on an ego. He wants to accomplish things for himself. So when he's down and out and you're saying, hey, I'm going to put you on my insurance. Hey, come live with me. Hey, I got, I'm giving you allowance every week. He's going to take it, but he's going to resent you for it. And that's where the mistreatment come in at. That's when you start seeing him being nasty to you, cheating on you, doing all this stuff for you. Because you know why? He resents you for it. So don't do it. First thing that you could do for a man is give him everything on a silver platter. And you know, when I saw this video, I thought about it. How many times have we seen videos of a dusty, a woman has taken in? And not just taking him in. He has no job or anything. Her, it's her apartment. Her name is on the lease. She asks him to leave and he unalives her. She's given him everything. You have given him everything. He's got you, place to live, resources, access to your bank account, your checking account, your car, uh, whatever's in the home, food, streaming, cable, TV. You're giving him everything on a silver platter, and you're thinking he is going to love you. I'm going to show him how I'm good for him. And I agree with that part when she's like, hey, he starts to resent you. And that's when I think that resentment, it turns to violence. And we, you got all these DV cases. Oh, she was murdered. She told him to get out. That's when I think that resentment resorts to violence. I really do believe that. So Hank's on a silver platter. I think it needs to be the other way around. Yeah, we need to switch the seats up. Because we got black women sitting up here. Man, I'm not finna be the North Star. I'm not finna guide no, nobody. <laughs> you got to go. But uh, sitting up here, assuming all the responsibilities like they're Hercules the man. I got that cape on. That cape is slowly choking you. Slowly choking you. That cape is killing you. So it needs to go the other way around. Black women... Act as providers where a man is supposed to be a provider, but most of them won't, so it's just time to move on. You can stick around if you want to in black stand. In that moment, fact, I wish you well. But if you're not finding it, how, how much longer do you have? 15, 20 years? If a man needs you or your resources, if he needs you for a place to live, you do not need him. If he needs you for transportation, you do not need him. He can use Tom and Jerry. And who's Tom and Jerry? Left foot, meet the right foot. Tom and Jerry. You've seen a cartoon. If not, go look it up. That's your transportation. If he needs you for your purse, your wallet, a place to sleep, he can't afford to up his own food. You don't need him. But we're taking all of that. And yourself to include it and put it on a silver platter and extending it to him. And he's stomping it out, kicking it out, killing it out, letting you know every day he does not want or value you. Some of these platters are going to end up inside some of y'all heads. I'm serious. So this is a lesson on, in my opinion, what not to do with a man. And I'm out.